Hello and welcome to the Lake Powell and Glen Canyon Dam update for August 2024. The water level at America's second largest reservoir is 3,582 feet, 3 inches above mean sea level. That's a decrease of a little over 4 feet since our last Lake Powell update. The current water elevation is 92 feet above minimum power pool and 118 feet below the full pool elevation. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. Today, we'll start our Lake Powell update with the latest water level statistics. Next is this week's big story, the recent collapse of Lake Powell's iconic double arch monument. We'll also revisit last month's water level prediction contest. Who got it right this time, me or the Bureau of Reclamation? Well, you're about to find out. But before we get started, do me a favor, hit that like button. Tell me off in the comment section. This is Time Bomb, let's get started. In last month's Lake Powell update, I challenged the Bureau of Reclamation's water level predictions. In their July water level predictions report, the Bureau of Reclamation predicted Lake Powell's water level would increase to 3,858 feet 11 inches at the end of July. Well, I disagreed, and I predicted the water level would decline below 3,585 feet. Well, the results are in, and Lake Powell ended the month of July with an elevation of 3,584 feet 7 inches. Hey, my prediction was right. The water level did decline below that 3,585 foot level. Reclamation was off by a 1 foot 4 inches. Now I'm not some water level fortune teller here. Anyone who watches my videos would know the water level was going to fall in July. The point of this little test here is to point out just how incredibly inaccurate the water level predictions from the Bureau of Reclamation are. Now let's get into the water level statistics so we can really get an understanding of how Lake Powell is performing. This is a chart of Lake Powell's water levels for the 2024 water year. From the beginning of the water year on October 1st, 2023, until mid-April, the water level at Lake Powell was on a steady decline. This is typical behavior for the winter season. The water that would normally run into Lake Powell is locked up in the form of snow and ice. And while less water is flowing into the lake, water still needs to be released to generate hydropower and to meet downstream water demands. In mid-April, the water level reversed course and started to increase at a rate of one and a half inches per day. Then on May 21st, that rate of increase jumped to over seven inches per day. The water level reached its peak for the year on July 10th with an elevation of 3,587 feet, two inches. That's the highest water level at Lake Powell since December of 2022. But since July 10th, the water level has been on the decline. Again, this is typical behavior for summer months. There is less water flowing into the lake, while demand for hydropower is increased due to the heat. The water level is currently 3,582 feet 3 inches, and will most likely continue to decline for the next several weeks. This is a chart of inflows to Lake Powell for the 2024 water year. From the beginning of the water year to mid-April, inflows remained under 20,000 acre feet per day. Then in mid-April, inflows started to increase above 20,000 acre feet per day due to some rainstorms and early snowmelt. On May 21st, inflows jumped to over 50,000 acre feet per day and remained at that level until the end of June. In early July, inflows dropped significantly to around 15,000 acre feet per day. And today that level has increased a little bit and is right around 20,000 acre feet per day. Here's another way to look at inflows. This is a chart of inflows to Lake Powell by month for the 2023 and the 2024 water years. From October to February of this year, inflows to Lake Powell pretty much matched the inflows from the 2023 water year. The inflow numbers started to, started to deviate in March, showing just how strong 2023 was. This is a chart of outflows from Lake Powell through the Glen Canyon Dam. Outflows from the Glen Canyon Dam do not fluctuate like inflows. 
outflows are heavily regulated and predetermined by various laws and agreements to meet the demands of downstream users. For the month of July, 713,000 acre feet was released from Lake Powell. In August, that number increases to 759,000 acre feet of water. These dips or troughs represent the lower volume of water that is released on weekends when power demand is lower. Dam operators are currently releasing water at a rate of around 25,000 acre feet per day. The current elevation of 3,582 feet 3 inches is 60 feet below the historical average for this date. Lake Powell's record high water level was set on July 14, 1983 at just over 3,708 feet. The current water level is 63 feet above the record low for Lake Powell that was set last year on April 13 at 3,519 feet. The last two winter seasons and the resulting snowmelt runoff have offered some relief to the historically low water levels of 2022. Unfortunately, the Lake Powell Reservoir is still only 39% of its full pool capacity. Now let's take a look at that double arch collapse. The double arch, also finally referred to as the toilet bowl, collapsed last week according to the National Park Service. This natural feature in southern Utah, popular amongst visitors and divers, fell apart after years of exposure to the elements and changing water levels at Lake Powell. Witnesses reported that the collapse began when a large chunk of sandstone, roughly the size of a Volkswagen, broke off and plunged into Lake Powell. Over the next five hours, the rest of the arch gradually crumbled, leaving no trace of the once iconic formation. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported during this event. The double arch was composed of Navajo sandstone, a type of rock common throughout the Southwest. While visually striking, this sandstone is particularly fragile due to its fine grain texture and lack of binding materials like clay or lime. Over millions of years, the arch was weakened by rain, wind, and the fluctuating water levels at Lake Powell, which further accelerated the erosion process. According to the National Park Service, the arch was already delicate before its collapse. The constant exposure to weathering forces and the changing water levels at Lake Powell likely contributed to its eventual downfall. Lake Powell, created by the Glen Canyon Dam in 1963, has seen significant water level fluctuations due to drought and increased water use in the region. These changes have not only impacted the lake itself, but have also affected the stability of nearby rock formations, including the Double Arch. The collapse serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between the natural landscapes and the impact of human activity. As visitation to the Glen Canyon Dam National Recreation Area remains high with over 5.5 million visitors in 2023 alone, the National Park Service emphasizes the importance of preserving these natural wonders for future generations. In our last Lake Powell update, I reported that the Charles Hall Ferry had resumed operations after being shut down since July 2021 due to, again, low water levels. Unfortunately, the ferry is back out of service again, but this time it's due to mechanical issues. Repairs are expected to take a few weeks, with the service likely to resume sometime after August 22nd, but that date is not firm. I suggest you check the latest status of the ferry at the Department of Transportation's website. I included a link in the video description below. Hey, that's all I have for this week's video. I'll be back with another one next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.